this is Pam from Wood Camper Crafts and today I'm going to teach you three tricks for making the perfect pom-pom. In this video I'm using the Clover pom-pom maker that I purchased at Michael's. Clover is a really popular brand so if you don't have a Michael's close by you can find it online or in most craft stores. In this video I'm using my Barkley kids hat as an example. This is a free tutorial which is available on my YouTube channel. So let's get started. I'm going to start by pulling out the ends just like this and I'm going to hold it up this way and I'm going to grab my yarn and I'm going to place it over top here and I'm just going to put my thumb over it to keep it in place. You can see these move around. You want to hold them so that they're together. You want to keep that in place. The yarn is under your thumb. You want to hold these with your fingers so you're keeping them in place. And I'm going to start winding my yarn. You want to wind it fairly tightly around the pom-pom maker. My technique is that I work up to one end here and then I'm going to go back down just trying to make it as even as possible while you're winding this. So I can now let go of that yarn as I pass over it and I'm going to wind all the way up to the other side. So this is a little awkward to do on film, but I'm sure you get the picture here. I'm going to keep going. So we're at the other end. Once again, I'm going to start winding down, trying to make it as even as possible, and I'll go all the way up the other side. So I want you to keep doing this. You can pause the video. I'm just going to do this quickly until all your yarn is filled up. So you want this in line. So this whole kind of hole here is going to be filled with yarn. So I've finished wrapping my yarn around. You can see that I've filled in that gap there. And I'm now going to take this and close it. That's going to keep it in place. I need to grab my scissors again and I'm going to cut this yarn. And I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So hold the yarn, make sure these two pieces aren't moving around, and I'm going to wind it evenly from one side to the other. So you can pause this video and I will just meet you back here when you've finished winding your yarn. So I finished winding the second side. Once again, I am going to take this and close it and I need to cut my yarn so I'm going to grab my scissors here and cut my yarn. So in the next step what you need to do is hold on to it like this and we're going to cut the yarn so you need to get the scissors right in there. Make sure you're holding tight though if you're not holding tight it's actually going to come apart on you. So I've just Put my hand around here. I'm grabbing a hold tightly. I'm sticking my scissors right up in here. Make sure you're under all the yarn and I'm going to start cutting. You need sharp, sharp scissors for this so make sure you have some sharp scissors. So I finished cutting the one side of my pom-pom. I'm going to flip it over now and I need to cut the other side. Once again I need to hold this really tightly so it doesn't all come apart on me and I'm going to cut right here all the way around. Need some really sharp scissors for this. I use hairdressing scissors actually, just cheap hairdressing scissors. But if you don't have sharp scissors it's not going to work. So I'm cutting all the way around. Hold on to it so the whole thing doesn't fall apart on you. Go. We've got our last cut there. You can see it started opening up on me. We don't want that to happen. So I'm going to just put that down and hold it really tight. So now we have to tie it. I found you really need a long piece of yarn. The best way to tie it so you can get it really tight is I take a really long piece of yarn here and I fold it in half. So I'm going to fold it in half so I can do almost like a, a slip knot here. So that folded piece in half, I'm going to, you can see 
right in here is where you're placing your yarn. And you have to actually let go a little bit so you can get the yarn in there. And we're going to put it all the way around the middle. So once I have it all the way around, I'm going to insert the ends into this loop. It's really quite difficult to do on camera. <laughs> and I'm going to tighten. So you want to get that really tight because you don't want your pom-pom falling apart on you. So once you have that really tight, I'm going to then take the two ends and I'm going to pull them in the opposite direction around my pom-pom maker. And then I'm going to just tie it really tightly in a knot. I'm going to tie it twice just to make sure it's really, really tight. When I'm doing this on my own and I'm not doing it on camera, I actually hold the pom-pom maker in between my knees. <laughs> so that I have my hands free to tie the knot. So there we go. I've tied the knot and I'm going to now take my pom-pom out. So you pull those up, pull up the other side, right here. And then once you have both ends up, you actually just pop it off and your pom-pom comes off. You can see sometimes when you're done, here are my strings I'm going to tie. You don't always have the prettiest pom-pom. So I've got some ends that are sticking out here and then my ends here. So I'm going to just take my scissors and I'm going to give my pom-pom a haircut. So I also found that this pom-pom was a little bigger than I wanted it. So you can see my pom-pom here got quite a bit of a haircut. I really worked on that so it was the perfect shape. I made it a little bit smaller and just made sure that the ends were all even. So you can just trim your pom-pom up so it's the shape and size that you want. I finished my pom-pom. It's had a nice haircut and now I'm ready to attach it. So when I'm attaching my pom-pom you have these two strings coming out of your pom-pom. And if you look at the top, I always find the middle or the top, very top of my hat where I tie down. I'm then going to just use my needle again and I'm going to put the yarn on, just one yarn string, and I'm going to insert it on one side, kind of the middle. So here's the middle and I'm just going to put this through on one side it out and then I'm going to grab the other piece of yarn and get it on here and then I'm going to do the exact same thing just on the opposite side of kind of that top so here's the top I've put my one string in here and I'm just going to go on the opposite side over here you don't want to put it too close together if you put it too close together it's going to be a really wobbly pom-pom you do need to put some space between these two pieces of yarn. So I'm going to put it over here and I'm going to pull it through. And then once we pull it through, I'm just going to knot it. So take the two ends and I'm just going to tie a knot. And I'm going to probably do that twice, make sure it's nice and secure and it's on there. So those are my three tips for the perfect pom-pom. If you like this video and would like to see more free crochet tutorials like this one, please subscribe to my channel.